ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And I'm kind of a little bit apprehensive of doing this cider because one of my friends on YouTube, Dave Dowling, also known as um, The Urban Viking, he did this cider quite a while ago, and his reaction is one that I've never seen him do with a drink before. He was just absolutely repulsed by it, and, well, it needs to say that uh, I'm a little bit scared of doing it. I will put um, the link to the video in a little box just about here, just about there, so uh, click on that and it'll take you to his review of it. So, um, yeah, to say that, yeah, I'm just a little bit nervous about doing this one. Um, today's cider of choice is Redaway's Whiskey Cask Cider, so... Did he just have a bad bottle, or is it really that bad? We'll find out soon, but until then, let me go and give you the lowdown on Redaway's Whiskey Cider. Redaway's Whiskey Cask Cider is available in 500ml bottles, which I do believe is the only way you can get it too. The alcohol percentage is 6% in volume, and it says on the bottle it's going to be a medium dry tasting cider. Um, the price is... I don't know... It, kind of could be a little bit expensive. It's £2.59 off Beers of Europe, and it seems you can't actually get it from the Redaway site. You have to contact them directly. So, if you found it for cheaper, then let me know. Well, at least around in my area, you can't actually get a hold of this apart from Beers of Europe. I'm pretty sure down in um, Devon, where Dave lives, you can get it more freely. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, it's really not that easy to come by. But it says... Uh, Gener generations of award-winning cider. Now, it doesn't actually say what sort of awards it's won, so... I don't know. Um, oak barrel matured whiskey cider. Now, if you've seen my um, uh, beer and cider festival uh, reviews, you'll know that I love whiskey cask ciders. Um, I just love, like, the whole taste of it. I prefer rum cask, but whiskey cask has still got its own little merits there. Um, nothing on that side. On here it says, Redways is a medium dry cider made using 100% pure apple juice, pressed from our own orchards and fermented in oak whiskey casks. So, on the offset, that sounds really nice, but um, I think it's all going to be down to the taste when I get round to it. But let's crack this bottle open and see what I make of it. Right, let's go in for the whiff. Now, on the off hand, that smells quite nice. At a first glance, that's, um, it's got a really nice uh, dry hit to it. And just that very, very slight hint of the whiskey and the oak. But it all smells really balanced. There's nothing um, off about it at all. So, yeah, that smells really, really nice. So I'm going to go and uh, get this poured into the glass and see what I made of it. We'll see what I make of it, shall I say. Don't think this is going to have any sediment in it, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour this straight out here. Okay, let's go and get uh, the colour of the uh, red ways. Um, well, straight away, you can see that it's uh, got a slightly cloudy hue to it. It's kind of like almost like a scrumpy, but it's uh, a deep amber sort of colour, lightly sparkling, and I can actually see some um, bits floating in there. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe, just by where my finger is now, you can just see a couple of bits floating there. So, it's actually got some uh, natural sediment in it, or um, I think it has some natural sediment. Hopefully it's sediment and nothing untoward. Any more smells in the glass, anyway? No, you've still got those, uh, those really nice, medium, uh, sort of like dry hits to it, but... Um, I must say, the whiskey is uh, a lot more prevalent now. You're getting a, almost like a slightly peaty sort of smell to it. With almost um, a hint of, like, just almost like melted caramel too. Still smells really nice. So, it's all going to be in the taste. So, cheers Dave and to everyone else. And uh, here's to Redaway's Whiskey Cider. Wow. That's quite strong. Let me just get a, uh, let's just get a second opinion. Wow. 
Whoa. Well, this is, um, this is definitely an acquired taste. It's not as prevalent in the smell, but my goodness me, the whiskey is so there in this drink that it's, it's no wonder that, you know, some people can be put off by it, because if you're not expecting it, it can really, really hit you. Um, you're instantly hit with all this astringency right at the start that, um... It almost makes me feel like this is like an extra dry cider, but it's not. It's obviously the whiskey that's just giving it this um, this tartness and this astringency that's making it a lot drier than it actually is. In fact, my mouth is just like completely parched right now. Let's just uh, get another taste. Oh, blimey. Um, wow, they really, they really, really have gone overboard with this. Um, there, there's a nice hint of oak as it's going down your throat as well. The, um, still the, the dry, the dry apple, um, taste is still there as well. But, um, my goodness me, if you're not expecting this, then it's going to completely blow your socks off. This tastes so much stronger than a six percenter. I'd say this is... If I gave this to you, it probably tastes more like a 7 or even like an 8 percenter. It's that strong. So I can see this being kind of um, an acquired taste. If you're looking to like start trying out these like cask aged ciders like with rum and whiskey, this probably isn't the best one to start with because it is really that strong. I'd even go as far as to say it's almost going a bit OTT with the whiskey. But uh, I'm sure they couldn't help that, you know, because it has just been aged in the whiskey barrels and probably for quite a long time as well. So obviously that gives it more of a strength. Um, but having said that, it doesn't taste terrible. So I feel that, um, I don't know, Dave might have had a bad bottle or, bad bottle or something or a bad batch because you can get infected um, cider bottles because uh, I think he... Uh, I think the taste, he said it was akin to, like, drinking dirty washing... Um, you know, like, washing up that's just had, like, dirty dishes or something put into it, which um, this doesn't really have. So, I hate, hate to say, Dave, I think he actually might have had a bad bottle there, unfortunately, which is, he's, he's had such a bad run with um, with bad drinks, like infected bottles and everything. I, I feel really sorry for him, but um, what I will say is, um, give this a second, give this a second go, Dave, because, um, you know, it's, it's, different, but it's not bad. So, um, let's just get another one. I'm finding as I'm drinking it more, the tastes are kind of mellowing out and balancing out a little bit more. It was just the first initial sips that were just insanely strong. And now you're getting, um, more of the oak coming through the whiskeys, taking more of a back step. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of all balancing out a little bit more now. But I will say, still take your time with this one, and uh, if you're just experimenting with Cascade Ciders, probably give this one a miss for the time being. So, let's get a uh, final taste before the final verdict, then. Yeah, it's got kind of um, a full body texture to it, so you feel like you're getting, um, you know, your, your value for money every mouthful, as it were. £2.59 is quite a big ask for this sort of drink, though. It's definitely not the best tasting cider I've ever had, so to ask for that sort of price, at least that was, that's what it was on Beers of Europe, kind of a tall ask, really. So, with all that in consideration, I'm going to go and give Redway's a whiskey oak pressed barrel oak matured cider, whatever you want to call it, a 6 out of 10. Um, yeah, if, if you um, are curious about trying this and you've tried a couple more whiskey cast ciders, then I'd say give this one a go, but if you're even slightly dubious about it, then probably, you know, steer away from it. There are better tasting ciders out there. So, well, there we go. That was another episode of The Cider Drinker over and done with. So, hope you liked it. And, um, well, again, a big shout out to Dave Dowling, the Urban Viking. If you've not um, checked out his videos, highly recommend it because he's a really great guy. He's done loads of beer reviews and he, um, you know, he, he deserves a lot more support. I mean, he's got a 
you know, he's got quite a following now, but he, you know, he always needs that little bit of extra support, as all of us do. So, seriously, uh, check him out and uh, you won't be disappointed. So, until next time, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, blimey neck, I'm going to have to drink some refreshing juice or something after this just to freshen my mouth up. But I will finish this bottle of Redway's Whiskey Cider off. So, take care guys, until next time.